All right, we're just ready to get started. It's been about 30 minutes or so after. That look okay? Yeah. Yeah. I'll let you get on it. Yeah. I don't want to squish it. Mike, you want us to run underneath that uh, ahead of you with the texture mat? Well, I think I'll have to do it from out here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this first one I can get after I pick this one up, I think we can get it. But moving forward, I'll get it. So everybody knows Mike just called me fat. Who? Oh, he calls us fat all the time, too. <laughs> he said, so. keep your, butt, your fat butts out of here. <laughs> I'm 175. They're about 240. I'm 230. I always I'm start. They're up. They're past 240. I'm 240. I'm 230. How much? 270. Really? 250. No, no, let's back this up. 225. No. All right, Eric. You want me to tell you what it all turns into at midnight? Dead weight. No, it's Cinderella time. Look at 30. Leave her out. He's got a blue. All right, we can put one there. I'll take I'll take a flop. Take a floppy here, and I can get another one there with a little bit of liquid release. This the short notch always goes the same. The notch always same direction. Yet. Uh oh, your alarm clock's going off. You're up early today. Potential spam. Is there more spam? So our power sales for Scott's canceling the field. All right, I'm not sure if we want to keep going that way, if we want to go this way, right, and then and then go here and here if we got to... I was going to bring that blue one right Perfect, up. Perfect, yeah. 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 I think well, so. We can, we, can we, yeah, because we can stop picking these up. You, you want me to pick up? You tell me how I can Have you done this before? Yeah. Yes. Yes. You, you want to lightly tamp these yep. and then we can keep yep. moving? All right, so the thing with stampable overlays is, you know, you, you got only so much time to get the impression from the stamps into the overlay itself because it's so thin, it's three eighths of an inch. And then when you're out in the sun like this, you got a little bit of wind going on. You know, that stuff even cures up twice as fast. So where we started there, it was just right to start stamping. But what I know from experience is to the left, the part of the the part of the overlay to the left that you can't see on the camera right now is has been in the direct sun for quite a while too. So we know that not only do we got to do this piece up here that we're doing, we got to get down to that last piece that's been in the sun and get that before it hardens up because once it hardens up too much you're not getting the impression in from the stamp so <clears throat> what we're trying to do is right here where we're at right on the corner of this jacuzzi hot tub thing it's actually a little bit soft because that was in the shade from a tree so we got to give that a couple more minutes before we get through it and then once we get through the sun's on it now but once we get through it then we can hustle ourselves right down and get to that end piece um, this part to the right over here in the corner, you can see it's still in the shade. So we're not too concerned about getting any any stamp impression in that. But we just gotta we gotta finish this pattern. It's not like we can just pick the stamps up and move them down the other end and start down there, then work our way back to here. Once we start stamping, we gotta work off the stamps to make sure that the pattern stays true. Um, that's the tricky thing about using like an ashlar slate. You gotta just you can't just pick it up, move it like you could, uh, let's say, like a stone texture stamp or something without lines in it. But we're going to make it, as you'll see in the video, we're going to make it here. And it's just, and, and the reason, again, the reason for all the extra guys, usually it's just me, Darren, and Luke on something like this. we got a couple guys from Deco Crete Supply, who is the manufacturer. They're the ones that sold us the stampable overlay uh, and the sealer that we're going to be using here shortly. You'll see that in a minute. And then there's a couple guys here that are learning. They're training on how to use this stuff. They've never done it before, and they just wanted to learn how to do it. So <laughs> it's really, there's almost like too many guys there. You can see Darren kind of just standing around, whereas normally he'd be out there on the stamps. 
Um, so we're just letting these guys do the work so they can, you know, hands-on work is, is definitely far faster learning than any other type you'll get. All right. Okay. We'll work around it. Yeah, okay. be good. I got the black one to go up there for the next one, so it should be okay. Good. We might try to just make that one big stone. Yeah, yeah. Right there. Just no, we'll just, we'll just right end there. up just cutting it. Yeah, that'll look good. Okay. You just got a boogie. I think that's dry down there. Yeah. I can't take that. I could take this one. Go with that. Yeah. I would take this one, this one, go here, here, so we yeah. can get going. Yep. yep. We can touch it up. Beautiful fat roll. Are we going right here? Yep. Why don't you just put this green here? Uh, I think you're just going to get rolling down there. Do we want to take well, yeah, floppy going along the edges. Like we, we can floppy the rest of that outside edge. Okay. We can even texture mat and cut in lines if we need to, to so the rocks stay fairly good size. Do we got a floppy available I can just set in here while I got those going? Yeah, you will in a minute. There's, there's one there. Floppy we could use the texture or the floppy. Well, I was just there's thinking to get your grout line. Let me have this one. I'll have to go do them right now. Looks good there. So what I mean by texture mat and floppy mat is the squarish type mats, there's, we have a couple of them that are a little thinner than the others. And the ones that, that are thicker are, are pretty rigid. And that's why we can walk on them like this without, you know, leaving heel marks and stuff from our boots. Because they, they support your weight pretty good. The floppy ones are a little thinner, a little more flexible. And they're used like to go up a wall. Like you can see the black one, like they're going right up the uh, jacuzzi hot tub. Like we can't use that with those are the ones without the handles these the floppy so that's what I mean by floppy and then the texture mat is just just a really really thin mat just has texture on the bottom of it like a slate texture it doesn't have any of the lines from the stones in it and if we want you know if, if we want to go around the edge we could just use the texture mat and then cut in the stones by hand using the tool um, or we could just use the floppy like what kind of what Darren's doing right there with that blue one he just put down is we can just use the floppy on the edges and just use the rigid ones inside where everybody's walking. Most sets you buy like this, there'll be probably nine rigid stamps and then two floppies. So you get about eleven stamps total. And but you don't get any you don't get any of the touch up tools or the textures with it. You gotta buy all those separate. I think you know, one set one set can do most jobs for you. If you're doing bigger stamp jobs, you kind of need two sets. Um, and what I mean by bigger is, let's say, like, maybe like over 1,000 square feet, 1,200, 1,500, 2,000 square foot jobs. You know, you really need the manpower and the stamps to be able to handle all that, all that square footage uh, before the stuff's not setting out. Because remember, that as... Just like, just like this overlay setting up on us as we go, we got only so much amount of time to get from one end to the other. It's the same with concrete too. When you start, you know, the concrete's fairly soft where you start, and then once you get down the other end, depending on the size, it's firming up as you go. So you got a very limited amount of time to get a stamp impression in, and that's why, that's one of the reasons why not everybody does this stuff. It's, it's, it's definitely a timing thing, a knowledge-based thing, and you know the more you do it the better you get at it just like anything else but you got to know when and how fast you need to move at certain times and when you're in the sun like this with a little bit of wind it's all about it's all about moving fast really All right, so that's basically it for today. We're going to clean up, get out of here, let it cure up real good. Tomorrow we'll come back, we'll wash it, get all the residue off from the liquid release. If there is any powdered release left on there that was in the liquid, we'll, you know, scrub that off. And then we got to let it dry. We'll recut the saw joints too. There were some saw cuts in here from the previous one. So we'll get those recut in tomorrow. 
and then we just gotta let it cure up another day and we'll come back and seal it so we'll see you tomorrow hey everyone so we're back on our stampable overlay job today all i gotta do is just put some sealer on it we're using the decocrete d1 stamp concrete sealer great great sealer to use doesn't flake doesn't peel uh really seals the concrete up nice so we're going to use that today on it we're going to put a couple coats on just about ready to go i got my sprayer i'm going to head up to the overlay up here and we'll get it sprayed got the bottom of the hot tub masked off so i won't get any sealer on the hot tub i'm going to just set up my camera and start spraying this stuff this stuff really cures up, dries up pretty quick, so I should be able to get a couple coats on here in just a matter of maybe 15, 20 minutes probably. First coat's going to go on really, really light. Second coat, again, will be light, but I'll try to put a little bit more on than the first coat. Everything looks good, looks ready to go. It's all nice and clean. See how much that pops the color. Looks really good. Now this first coat's going to dry in pretty good, but second coat will really help enhance. Alright, I'll give my pump sprayer a few more pumps. Keep the pressure up nice and high. It's starting to dry up a little bit in spots already, so won't be long. We'll let that dry right up. Put another coat right on it. All right, that's it for that coat. It takes literally two minutes, 380 square feet. So I'll give that a few minutes, we'll come back, we'll pump up the sprayer again. Put the second coat on. Okay, I gave that about a half hour. You can see it's already got better color than it had before we sealed it, which it should, right? Now we'll put this second coat on, it should make it pretty nice. We can always come back, you know, if, if you think you need more, you can always come back at a later time and just put another coat on. You don't want to get too much on initially. Too much is a bad thing, sealers. guys think let me know down in the comments what you think of how that looks this d1 sealer works really really good um, don't have to cut it like I said it sprays out really nice needs a really nice finish on that so that's it guys two coats of sealer stampable overlay repaired some freeze and thawed damaged stamp concrete make it look like brand new again that's the way to do it right there thanks for watching we'll see you on the next one